Hello everyone. I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. StudySalesforce.com is my website, a video library to learn Salesforce. In this video, I am going to implement a scenario. So I will be querying accounts created last week, and I need to populate account phone on related contexts. So I will show you this implementation uh, through two ways. One is parent to child SQL, and another is using Map. So by watching this video, you will get uh, understanding like how we can implement map in Apex. So jumping to developer console. So let's, let's first implement it using parent to child SOQL. So if I create parent to child SOQL, so I need to write these things. So what I did, I uh, just wrote select ID phone. So these are account fields. Then inside parenthesis, this is child query. So together it is known as parent to child SQL. And here this context is basically child relationship name, which you can find uh, through lookup field. So if I take you to contact, so on contact, we have a lookup to account. So if you open that lookup, so there you can find the child relationship name here, right? So you can watch my another videos as well. Uh, those uh, particularly are made for parent to child SOQL. So uh, we can apply parent to child SOQL on both like standard relationship and custom relationship. So there you can understand uh, that in detail. So it is available in this uh, playlist only. So with this SOQL, all accounts and related contexts will be queried. Those are created last week. So clicking on execute. So here you can see the records are available. So account ID and account phones, phone numbers are available. So we need to apply one check as well. If account is having phone populated, then only we need to copy it on account, sorry, on uh, contacts, right? So uh, if uh, we can, we can apply that condition while iterating this uh, loop. Right, so here you can also notice for one account contact is available for others uh, related contact is not available. So if contact is available, then phone number will be copied otherwise not. So now what I need to do, I need to copy this SOQL and here I am creating a list of account. and pasting this. Right, so this way SOQL is available. Now I need to check this ACC list for null. If it is not empty, then I can iterate a loop. And here I can check if ACC dot phone not equals to null. So you can apply this condition in this where clause as well, like where created it equals to last week and phone not equals to null. So only those records will be queried. And if you don't apply that here in this SOQL, so you can apply that here as well. So if account phone is not null, so what you can do, you can iterate one more loop, context con colon, then acc dot context. So one by one context will be available here. Now you can write con dot phone equals to acc dot phone. Now here we need to create one more list list of contact con list equals to new list of contact and here contact con equals to new contact con dot id equals to sorry con record so here 
click on record equals to con dot id and con record dot phone equals to this now we can add this con record into con list so this way this contact list will be having all the contacts uh, those we are going to update now after completion of this if block i can apply if not con list dot is empty if it is not empty then i can write update con list now i am saving this moving here moving to accounts opening accounts created last week and opening this one so that i can have related contact so i am creating new contact and erasing the phone number saved it so phone is blank right so on account phone number is available but on contact phone number is not available so let's apply that soql once again so here you can see for this account phone num for this contact phone is null so now i will be uh, executing the code which i implemented so you will see this account phone will be populated on this contact phone so i am closing this so i am going to execute this now again i am going to run this query and here you can see phone is updated right so this is the one way now i am going to show you another way so for that i am removing this so what we are going to do we are just going to query accounts in this acc list so i uh, implemented parent to child soql uh, already now i am focusing on implementation using map so now you will see like how we can use map in the apex so list of account acc list select id phone from account we have created date equals to last week right now i need to assign this list into a map so i am creating a map of id count so acc id to count map equals to new map of id comma count now if you pass a list into a map so automatically ids and uh, that account will be managed right also you can do one thing like you can have a loop on acc list and what you can do you can use this map dot put acc dot id and acc so this also you can do so i am commenting this for future reference right so if you want to assign map in this way so it is also possible so list will be converted into map and this is also possible now i need to query all the contacts so first we queried all the accounts then converted account list into map now with the help of this map i will be querying list of contact so so con list equals to select id account id phone from contact where account id in then uh, you need to use this map dot key set so if we apply key set method with map so it returns all the keys those are available in the map and basis on those keys uh, this condition will be matched like account id in means uh, available in this key set and those contacts will be queried right so this way uh, we can use map to query the records so one thing i i am going to implement here as well so and 
phone not equals to null so i am applying this check here only so that only those records those account records will be queried where phone is not null now here i am renaming it as contacts to be updated now here i need to write con list so if con list is not empty so i am going to iterate on contact list so so earlier we iterated on account list but now we are iterating on contact list right so in this contact list now i need to apply if so what we are going to do we are using this map dot contains key so we need to check whether this contacts related account is available in this map or not so i am writing this so what i did i use this map use this method contains key which check whether particular key is available in the map or not so key we are passing as con dot account id so for this contact if its uh, related account is available in this map then only we need to apply some operation and what we need to do we need to copy accounts own into this contact right so now we can create contact instance con record equals to new contact con record dot id equals to con dot id con record dot phone equals to then you need to use this map dot get so if you want to get the value associated with the key through map so you need to use this method get so i am passing con dot account id as a key so uh, corresponding value is basically account record and i want to fetch phone field only so i am writing phone so what will happen through this map through this get method i am passing this key so uh, basis on this key the value which is associated with the key that is account record and that account records phone i am fetching and assigning it to related contact right so this way i am mapping it and now i am copying this list dot add con record now copying this putting it here and here so this way i used map in this example so this example can be implemented uh, with both the way uh, through parent to child sql or through this way as well using map now i need to view last week created account so i am opening this so here also related contact is not available so what i am going to do test 123 test 321 and saving this so phone is not available so again before executing this method i am applying this parent to child sql so remember parent to child sql i am using to check uh, whether phone number is available in the related contact or not but in actual code we are not using parent to child sql now so after executing this method uh, again we will run this parent to child sql and we'll see like uh, account phone will be updated into contact phone so executing this so method name is same update contact phone now clicking on execute it is executed so here you can see all contacts are having the phone so one was not having a uh, phone number earlier it was null now it is having the phone number which is available on account so this way i demonstrated you like how you can implement uh, code in two different ways using parent to child soql as well as using map so i hope you understood this demonstration if you want to watch more salesforce related videos so visit studysalesforce.com complete video library to learn salesforce thank you for watching this video